I'm sure we've all experienced those cringeworthy moments when someone uses the same cliche lines in their sacrament meeting talk. I mean, it's hard, and sometimes you just don't know what to say. So we usually just stick with the same cheesy joke or summarize our life story. Let's help each other out. I'm Ashley from LDS Living. Before reaching for your dictionary or calling out the bishop for assigning you to speak, here's five ways not to start your sacrament meeting talk and what to do instead. I know that talks are tricky and sometimes it takes time to work out the kinks. But more than worrying about how you begin the talk, just focus on keeping the spirit with you. Number five, pulling the you don't know me card. This opener usually goes something like, hi, my name's Brother Brown and I've been in the ward for 40 years. Try instead using a personal story that ties into the topic. I mean, who doesn't love a good story? That way, your audience can also get to know you while learning by the spirit too. Number four, the I don't want to be here, but here it goes anyway approach. These are your bishop dodging, caller ID scanning, I'll get even with you later approaches. Why would we want to listen to someone who doesn't even want to be here in the first place? And what do these statements tell our kids about our attitude towards the gospel? Try instead to start with a humorous short story to try and break the ice. President Monson perfected this technique, so when in doubt, go listen to his talks and other conference talks that might be able to help you. Number three, the this talk is really for me, not for you opening. We know you learned a lot by researching your given topic. I mean, that's the point of a talk. But remember, your audience is at church to learn as well, so think of their needs too. Why not start with a powerful quote that'll get listeners engaged and tip them off about what you'll be talking about. Number two, the spoiler alert. While it might be easier to just come out and say, today I'll be talking about faith, it doesn't do much to pique the audience's interest. Try instead using a parable or an object lesson, something that our savior did when he would teach in large groups. That way you can start with something relatable and then dive deeper into the topic. And number one, the most mm. boring, the definer approach. Please, I have a dictionary at my home and on my phone. Unless you have something new or interesting in the definition you want to share, we don't need to hear Merriam-Webster's take on everything we talk about in church. Why not just share a comment about the meeting instead? Like thanking someone for their musical number or commenting on somebody's previous thoughts that had been shared. Church leaders do this all the time in general conference. Show people you're engaged and part of the meeting. Special thanks to Kelsey Berteau for writing the article that this video is based on. Be sure to subscribe to LDS Living for more great videos right there. And be sure to comment below with any other tips and tricks that you have to start a sacrament meeting talk. We'd love to hear them. I'm Ashley from LDS Living. Good luck with your talk.